All right, Bob, thank you. Concerned residents of Lido Key reached out to ABC 7 about a dirty canal that borders dozens of homes. We sent crews to that neighborhood off of John Ringling between Polk Drive and Washington Drive to investigate a little further. That's where we find ABC 7's Rick Adams tonight. Now, Rick, what did scientists have to say all about this? Yeah, Jacqueline, good evening. It is a little bit of a mess here. There is a green algae in this canal. Here's what some residents on Lido Key have to live with. Their canal near St. Armand Circle in Lido Beach filled with what most scientists say is seagrass and benthic algae. This is drone footage of the canal one of our viewers shared with us. It's devastating because you can't go out. We don't kayak. We don't do our activities because of this and the smell is bad. Debbie and her husband Dave say this is the worst it's ever been in the many years they've lived here from the red tide to what's happening now. Never seen it this bad. I mean, it, we've had red tide and the water gets kind of rusty color, but never like this. An expert from Moat Marine Lab says the seagrass and green algae are most likely the effects of Florida red tide. We're being told it's a result of low dissolved oxygen in the water. Kevin Bales, president of the St. Armand's Residents Association, tells us this has been very hurtful to the area. It's really not a pretty thing. Uh, for wildlife, it's not a pretty thing for residents, and it's uh, certainly been impacting the business here. Moat Marine Lab says they will not have any more information on this situation until the water in this canal is tested. And the city of Sarasota says they won't be making any decisions on this canal until they speak with Moat Marine Lab. Reporting live from Lido Key this evening, I'm Rick Adams. Jacqueline, back to you. Rick, thank you.